Hello and welcome to another video on the Mantis Q40. Today we're going to look at how to set our date and time as well as enter our Wi-Fi setup. Now in a previous video we talked about how entering date and time is a great way to get to know the capabilities and the layout of your display without making a lot of changes to it that would make the device unusable until you're able to get some help with it. So ultimately setting your date and time if you mess it up, it's not a big deal, but it still gives you some familiarity with the device. Great way to get to kind of get to know things and how they work without, you know, taking a whole lot of risk. So let's go ahead and get started. So now my display says editor and that indicates that I'm in the main menu. In order to get to date and time settings, I can do one of two things. I can either press the letter D to go directly there or I can press a down arrow. I'm going to just press the letter D and here is date and time right here. If I want to enter that, um, that menu item, I can press enter or a cursor routing key. Either one will work. Uh, now you have your time displayed for you. And what's nice about this way of looking at your time is that it's not a flash message. You have as much time as you want to, to just take a look at it. It doesn't flash up for like three, five seconds and then it's gone. This is great for people who are slower braille readers as well that just need that extra little bit of time but don't want to extend the flash message duration of time. So back to this. So now it says um, it has my time here and if I press a down arrow it'll show me my date and if I press a down arrow again it'll say close. If I press a down arrow a third time it will take me right back up to the top where it's got my time highlighted. I'm going to change the time because this time is not correct. So in order to do that, I need to open the context menu with control plus the letter M. Once I press control M, I'm going to see a prompt on my braille display that says change time. If I want to change the time, I can press a cursor routing key or an enter key and the Braille display will again give me another prompt. It'll say enter hour. Then you have this nice little um, opening and closing bracket here that has uh, a place for you to enter that hour. If I hit a backspace here, it takes the hour out that was previously entered and I can enter the correct hour, which is three. To set that, I'm going to go ahead and press the down arrow. Now I'm gonna get another prompt. It says enter minute. Again, I'm placed in this uh, area where I can press, where I can go ahead and enter that minute. If it is wrong, I can go ahead and enter, let's see, what is it now, 318. And if it gives me a beep, I, I'm, that indicates to me that my cursor is not where I think it is. So I need to physically put it in that, uh, that area where your, uh, where your brackets look, and then just backspace over it. I'm going to go ahead and look at my watch again to see if it's still 318, and it is, but I'm just actually gonna bump it up to 19 here because that's just a little easier, and I'm gonna press the down arrow. Now it's going to ask me if I want AM or PM. Well, it's PM because if it were in the AM, I wouldn't be doing this video, I will tell you that much. So if this were incorrect, I would press the enter key to let it cycle between AM and PM. And when the correct one is up on my braille display, I can press down arrow again. Now we have the okay button, which I'm going to use enter to indicate that I am finished. So this is my change time again. Since I've already done that and I want to change the date, now I'm going to press a down arrow. Now it says change date. To indicate I want to do that, I'm going to press enter. Now it's going to ask me, it's going to give me some more prompts and it says enter year. Well, I'm going to press my backspace just to get rid of whatever was there and I'm going to press 20, 2021. All right, now I'm gonna press down arrow. Now it's going to say enter month. 
Now, if I press backspace, it's gonna actually bring my display back to that year. And why? Because I'm not focused in that area, in that bracketed area. So I'm gonna press my um, cursor routing key into that bracketed area and backspace until it's gone. And I'm entering my month, it's July, so that's seven. and I can press down arrow to go to the next prompt. The next prompt um, asks me to enter the day. Today is the 26th. So here we go. Here we go. So I'm looking here and it does say the 26th. So if something is right and I don't need to change it, I don't have to do anything. I can just press the down arrow. The next thing that's gonna say is okay. So now that I'm finished, I can press enter on the OK button. And I'm going to be popped right back to this change date. If I press a down arrow, my display is going to ask me if I'm in daylight savings time. Is daylight savings time on or is it off? If I need to change that, I'm going to just like I did with AM and PM, I'm going to press enter to get it to change. Now it's off. We're in Wisconsin and Wisconsin does daylight savings time. So we're going to change that to on. We're going to press the down arrow to go to the next area. Here it says, oh yes. So now we want to know our time format. Do we want a 24 hour format or a 12 hour format? Um, if you're a military person, maybe you like the 24. I kind of like the 12. So it says 12. Um, and again, it's correct, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Now it's going to ask me about the date format. The date format's a little bit trickier. Um, if you are in the U.S., most people prefer to see their dates as uh, month, day, year. And that's what it shows me here. It says month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Um, as represented M, M, D, D, and then four Ys after that. If I wanted to, I could change it. I could press um, an enter key. And it's going to give me some other options. M, M, um, M, M, D, D, and then Ys again. I can press my down arrow. And then it's going to give me the option of maybe having the year first. And then it's going to say close. But those are not the only options. I can press down arrow again and see some other choices. Day, day, month, month. No years. Uh, day, day, month, month. And then four years. I can do month, month, day, day. And then no year showing. Or I'm right back to that month, month, day, day, and then the four, four Ys. If that's what I want, I can go ahead and press enter to, to select that. And it will show, it'll say day format, date format, and then you can just check. Does this say what I want it to? Does it look like there's two Ms, two Ds, and then four Ys? If so, and it does, I'm done, and I can press a down arrow. And here is where it says back. Or I could press down arrow and, and start all over again. I don't need to. So when I'm, I'm going to go and focus on back and then press enter. Now it's going to show that stationary date, stationary time and date format and then close. And you can get out of there again if you want. So pretty easy for the most part, um, but you know, you do have to do some thinking. I focused on using the keys on the top of the keyboard. I didn't talk about using the thumb keys at all, but going back to that, the thumb keys function pretty much the same way. So if for some reason you didn't feel comfortable using arrows and, and stuff like that, you, you could just use the thumb keys instead. So now let's go ahead and look at how to set up our Wi-Fi. So because we're done here, I'm going to just hit escape a couple of times and it pops me right back into that main menu area. 
So I'm now my focus is on date and time. My Wi-Fi setup is in my settings. Again, I could down and up arrow or previous and next thumb key until I found my settings or I could just press the letter S, which is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna enter that settings menu by pressing a cursor routing key. The first option is user settings. And if I went down, it would go down to uh, Braille profiles. And uh, then the third one down is Wi-Fi. Or I could have just, again, hit a W and gone straight to Wi-Fi. But I wanna go to, to um, create a new Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna hit enter here. And so now it says my Wi-Fi is turned off. Well, that's not what I want. I wanna turn it back on. So enter, turn that Wi-Fi on. It, it takes it a second. So now it says Wi-Fi on. I can do a down arrow. Now we see status. Well, we really don't have a status yet, so we can go past that. Just, so I'm gonna use a down arrow and it's gonna say um, new connection. That's what I want. I want a new connection because there, there isn't one. So I'm going to do enter on new connection. And now it says uh, scan for new connections or scan for, um, for SSIDs, actually, it says. And that's just another way of saying, you know, I'm going to scan and see what's available, what networks are here for you to join. So that's the easiest thing to do. I'm going to press enter. And let's see. Now it says it's um, loading. Give it a second. All right, first one it says, it says WCBVI um, slash data. That is a password protected one. Um, I'm going to use a down arrow. And this one is WCBVI um, voice. This is also password protected. I'm gonna keep going. WCBVI guest. This one is not password protected. So if I hit enter, it would connect and it says loading. And that uh, beep indicates that, yep, we're good. We are good. So now I'm going to go back up here for, um, to go to back. There we go. And then hit enter. Now it's going to say new connection. I don't want a new connection actually. I want to go up and see what my status is. So now it says status and I'm going to hit enter. Status and it says SSID, WCBVI guest, down arrow, or I could, you know, next thumb key obviously as well. Okay, and it says, mm hmm. We are, we are just all set. Gives me the IP address, all of that stuff that if you need it, you have it, but not everybody is, is not necessarily uh, uh, needs your MAC address and all that stuff. So it, to get out of that, I'm just gonna press escape because again, I, I really don't wanna see the status. If I wanted to add one with a connection, with, a, with the uh, password, here I'm gonna go to new connection again. I'm gonna press enter. And it says uh, scan for SSID, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna hit enter again and it's loading that list. Do, 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 do. And here it, here it says, oh, it's gonna give me a list. It says WCBVI uh, guest, which is the one I'm currently connected to. So I'm just gonna sail on past it. Here's WCBVI voice. I don't want that one. That's not the one I know the password to. WCBVI data. This is the pass. This is an account that has a password, and I'm choosing that because I want to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a cursor routing key or an enter to open that. And here now it says password. This is where I would enter it. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to enter that password. I'm just going to have you wait because then you you don't get to see it. So hold on, and I will be right back. Okay, the password has been entered and it says loading. Yep, and if you will hear that it says it's connected. So, perfect. So now I found that, um, that connection 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and do the up arrow and it says back, enter, and it says new connection again. I'm going to hit an up arrow because, or I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to, um, yep, status. Here we go. I'm going to hit enter. And the status, it's going to tell me again, my SSID, and we're just going to make sure we're connected to WCBVI data. So that is correct. Now I am able to get to my Bookshare accounts and download into my NFP Newsline account if I want. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit escape a couple times. It'll get me out of it. It put, took me right back to that main menu where in the settings. So I'm all out of that. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Please feel free to um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again next time.